you find the two found each other and they lived happily thereafter. But in the actual life, you don't really find that. Marriages fall apart. Partners, they hate each other. After two, three years, they don't want to have sex with each other anymore. They're not excited about each other. They're lying. They're lying to themselves. They're lying to each other. The actual picture that you're experiencing in this life is very different than the idea that you have how things should be. They're very different. And that causes suffering because your mind is conditioned that things should be this way. And life doesn't really give a hood of what you think life should be like. Excuse my language. Life doesn't give a shit. What do you think? How it should be. Life will do what it wants to do. Whatever it wants to do, it will do. It will create incredible beaches. White sand beaches, beautiful water. It's turquoise. It's gorgeous. It's pristine. It's very pretty. It's surreal. Then same life will create an oil company. Two miles down in the ocean, the oil company will come and starts drilling and put this platform in this beautiful, pristine turquoise water and contaminate the ocean and kill all the fish and the coral and the seaweed and destroy the beach. And while you're really angry and you're screaming and you just want to kill, and this happened and you're pointing your finger at this evil corporation for doing it, it all was supported by life because life doesn't care what you're thinking, how it should perform or be. Life in this moment is going to be what it wants to be. It's an expression of the absolute. And it doesn't care what you think about it. Get used to it. Recognize that. Acceptance of what is. All of it are supported by life. Donald Trump, the opposition, the deep state, the Illuminati, the bad guys, the good guys, the evil corporations, the pharmaceutical corporations, the the oil corporations, the Bill Gates, all of these blah, 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 good, bad, evil, are all supported by life. Life has created them. Life has created you and I. Life is supporting us, supporting all lives, all life across the universe. It's all created by the one. And the one doesn't care what you think. So do yourself a favor. Surrender to the will of the Allah. Surrender to the will of God. And then you stop suffering. Everything becomes very easy in comparison than trying to implement your ideas of how things should be. God doesn't know what God is doing because God is the creator of universe and you've only been here for 50 years and all of a sudden you know how things should be. And you're really gone ho about it. You want to co-create with God. God doesn't need your co-creations. Thank you. Just mind your own business. Learn one thing in this life. Be quiet. And speaking of be quiet, look what life did. Look what they've done to us. They created the mask. So now you have to have this mask in front of your face. What does it rep represent? It represents, it says, shut up. 
and don't speak. Be quiet. It's so clear. Can't you see that? It goes with the message. Be quiet. Be silent. Be still. And what did they do? They mask your face. Be quiet. Be still. I'm not talking about to them saying be quiet. I'm talking about to spiritually be quiet. And look what is going on in the world. You're forced to be in a quarantine. And right now we're getting a break. We're going to be out there for a month or two. And then September comes. The second wave is going to come. And you're forced to go back to your cells. Go back to your jail, your cell. Go back into the monastery. Be quiet and go in there and meditate. It's, gonna, it's coming. It, it's happening. So it's divine intervention. The big kahuna stepped in and said, you know what? Enough of enough of this bullshit. Now it's mandatory meditation. So the more you dive into yourself, the more you sink inside yourself and just go back into the meditation, the, le the less you're resisting, the easier it's for your own involvement. It's easier for you. Of course, you can resist and do whatever you want to do and keep banging your head against the wall. You're the only one who suffers because nobody else gives a shit. Our process is individual. We all are looking at this, what's in it for me? That's all you care about. What's in it for me? Am I going to be happy? Am I going to be okay? Is this teachings helping me? Is this serving me? It's only you. Because you're the one who's suffering. You're the one who's seeking. You're the one looking for a remedy. And you can't help anybody else as much as you claim you want to because you don't know how to help yourself. You have to help yourself first. You have to eliminate suffering. And by eliminating suffering, because you think you have to manipulate the other elements, things have to go your way so you don't suffer. But that's impossible because you tried it all of your life and you couldn't do it. Things don't go your way. Things go their way. So your methods and techniques are futile. Whatever you're trying to do is not working. It hasn't worked. So it's time to wake up and take a look at yourself. Maybe my method is wrong. So what should I do? Because I'm still suffering. So I can't make things in the utter world to go my way. So what should I do? Maybe I should change something inside myself. Maybe it's time for that. What do I change inside myself so I don't suffer? Well, why don't we start with the very basic thing? Who are you and who is suffering? Let's start with A, B, C, D. Who are you? Who is this person in there who's suffering? 